Hello, uh, Black Sea students, International Black Sea University students. This is Jacob Reed. This is a quick video about how to make the most out of your dissertation template. So your university has very kindly created a dissertation template for you. And I have it open right here. And before you even start writing a single word, the first thing you'll want to do is save it. So I will go up here and go to Save As, and instead of Dissertation Template, I'll just change it to my own name. So Dissertation Read, and I'll save it. And I'll show you the power of a template here. So let's go down just a few pages to Chapter 1. There's the introduction, and very important also. Chapter 1, so let's say you start typing and you write some important stuff. Uh, what you will want to do as you start writing is open up, let's go to View, Sidebar, Navigation. So that's the View menu, Sidebar, Navigation. And this nice little kind of outline pops up on the left. And if you look here, it says Chapter 1. That's where we are. Now, if you want to move to chapter two, you just move your mouse over here and you click on chapter two and it bounces you over there. So the nice part about this navigation menu is you can move throughout your paper just with a click of a button. So let's say as I start chapter one, I'm going to put um, a heading like, uh, let's say, historical reasons. And then underneath this and then you see right over here on the left side my heading has now popped up so I write a paragraph and then let's say I want to add a new heading um, so I'll type um, philosophical reasons now here's the interesting part I can highlight it and you see this historical reasons here it's bolded it has the numbers next to it well all you have to do is you go up here to these headings and you see here, there's Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, Heading 4, Heading 5, even Heading 6. So we want a Heading 2 because you see it says 1.1. So we're going to go click on Heading 2 and look at that. We have 1.1 and this one automatically goes to 1.2. And all of your numbers over here automatically change. So you don't have to do it um, by yourself. So let's say that in my historical reasons, I want to add Let's say um, I'll add um, ancient history. So this will go under my historical reasons. So I want it to be a third level. So I'm going to go over here and click on heading three. And now I have 1.1.1 ancient history. Just add some text here into my ancient history <laughs> very quickly. And then let's say that I want to add another uh, point. Well, I can put modern history, highlight it, and then click the level that I want, and it formats it automatically for me. So I want you to be using this template because it creates an outline for you automatically, allowing you to move up and down throughout your paper and the headings change automatically as you update it. We all um, change our minds sometimes. And so if you change your mind, um, this will automatically update the numbers, the location within the paper, um, everything. All right, I hope this helps as you write. So carry on. Thank you.